Hey guys, it's Erin. Happily we go. And it is PB and Journal Tuesday. Now we're going to do a little dance fingers and flip through here to see what we did last time, which was the brightly colored graffiti page. And now we want something to match um, this gorgeous sparkle page that I'm still so in love with. So what I want to do is kind of pull um, these colors into the next page. And there's the pink, sort of like an ochre, a little bit of blue, um, some grungy. So if you'd like to see how I do this, then just keep watching. Now we're going to get crazy with the paint today. So I'm going to take a piece of copy paper and tape it down with some painter's tape onto the other side so we don't get any paint on my little beloved sparkle page. And now I'm going to grab some of the colors. We've got pink, teal, a Titan buff, and then also yellow ochre. These are the colors that were kind of in the other page and we're going to bring them onto this next page so it sort of matches. You do not have to do this, but I just kind of like things to uh, go together. So I'm blobbing some paints down, two squirts of each color, and I'm not really being particular with how much is on there. But I'm going to get another piece of copy paper and we're just going to smudge. We're going to get crazy smudging with it. This takes away perfectionism. You do not have any control over how this paint goes down and that is why I love this. I'm working on uh, getting out of my perfectionistic ways. So we're just going to keep on moving the copy page around, spreading, 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 and that way we're covering both pages with the paint. Look at that inky goodness. So if you have a little bit of white left over on your um, copy paper, that is totally okay. So we're going to set that off to the side. Woohoo! Look at all of that. And we're going to give this a dry. Now we're just going to remove that cover page there. Just peel it up and don't throw that away because that has some inky goodness on it, which would be great for some collage pages. And now look at this, you guys. Some of the background patterning is showing through in the book. Isn't that awesome? So now we're going to take um, an old book page and I'm going to throw some clear gesso over it, get that all painted over and then dried really good for our next step. Now I'm going to break out one of the awesome stencils from Strumpet Stencils. This is the Talking Heads Malala Quote Stencil and I will put the link down to her Etsy shop in the description box below. But I'm just going to take a pen, trace around the head and then go ahead and cut it out with scissors. Now that we have the head all cut out, I want to make it pop just a little bit more off the background. So I'm going to grab this scripty script stencil. I believe it's Donna Downey, but again, I will put everything I use down in the description box below. And I'm going to use some Payne's Gray and just kind of push it through the stencil very randomly, kind of more towards the outside because I know that the head is going to be the center focal piece of my little book page here. I'm loving how the Payne's Gray is pulling the colors from the opposite page into this one. So now I'll grab some Uhu glue stick or any glue stick um, that you prefer. I'm just going to use the glue stick because if you use a matte medium, sometimes it'll make the page a little bit more wrinkly and I don't really want wrinkles on my girl's head here, my little talking head. So once you have that all glued, give it a good press and then we're going to grab a black Stabilo awl and we're going to trace around the outside of our gal's head and then use a little bit of water on a brush. I'm going to get it super wet so that way you can just watch that color spread. It's like magic, but this is going to help our talking head pop off of the page. I'm adding a little bit extra water here to help kind of pull out that black stabilo. But then once you feel like you've got enough there, we're going to set that off to the side to dry naturally and we're going to bring back our painty paper. All right, we're going to fold this baby up. So first we're going to do it hamburger style and that's the wider way. So we're going to fold it in half, then open it back up again and fold the bottom up to meet the middle fold. Flip it over and do the exact same thing with the other side. Then fold it in half and give it a good press and we're going to open it all the way back up again. So now you can see there's three fold lines there. So we're going to flip it and do it hot dog style and this is the long ways. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Fold it in half and then fold the bottom up to meet the half fold line and do the other side as well. Then fold it half again onto itself and just give it a good press. Now we're going to open it back up 
and I'm gonna flip it over to the white side so you can see. Now we have all of these little mini rectangles. So what we're gonna do is turn this the correct way, the eight and a half by 11, and we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna make some cut lines. We're gonna cut on the very first fold line all the way up until you get to the bottom of the top square. Do not cut any further than that. There you go. And we're gonna do it on the last fold of that side as well. So we're leaving the middle open. Cut it all the way up until you hit that bottom of the top square. Now it looks like this. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna cut up the middle the exact same way. So cut it all the way up until you hit that top bottom one and you should have a W. Wow, W for wow. So now comes the fun part of folding it. I'm just folding it onto itself and then up again, just keep folding, folding, folding. And you know, just make it work for you because there's a couple times where I think I may have hurt my brain and you'll see that shortly. Now we gotta glue our pages together to make a little book. So I'm opening this up and you can see where those double folds were where we didn't cut. We wanna glue those together so that way it's not all weird. So I'm just gonna grab the glue stick and then fold those onto each other. And we've got three of those. So we're gonna do that again. Here's the middle one. We're gonna open it up and then put our glue on it and fold it over on top of itself. And then do the same thing with the last one as well. Okay, now we're gonna have a little book that looks kind of wonky because we have those edges there. But I don't want any of the white sides to show. So now I'm gonna start gluing my painted pages back to back so that way none of the white is showing. Here I totally had a moment of, wait, wait, what did I just do? And then I unglued it, but then I glued it back together again. So pretend you didn't see that, but I'm leaving it in there because I want you to see that I myself even got confused trying to glue this together. So just make it work for you. Um, it, you just, at, in the end, you're gonna have a couple pages of a book and you're not gonna have any of the white showing. So as you can see, now I'm like, okay, this is how it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with it this way. Pretty sure my brain broke about this time, but then I finally got it figured out. So we're just gonna finish rolling with what we've got. And again, just make it work for you. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna end up with our little book and have a couple of the pages here like this. There we go, ta-da! So now that we have our little book, I wanna put this in her head because again, this is like the talking head and it's kind of like the thoughts that are in your head. So I had the idea, let's make this little book. So now I kinda of wanted to match her head and I'm gonna take another old book page here and we're gonna make the cover of our little mini book. So I'm gonna use the uh, break in the columns as my guideline, and I'm gonna put the Uhu glue stick on the back side of it. I'm lining it up there with the words, and then I'm gonna glue it onto the front. So I'm just gonna fold over that book page and then give it a good press. I'll open it back up and then cut around the outside of the book. cute it is like her little brain so now I want to fix those pages remember I told you some of those pages are stuck together and I didn't want to um, think maybe they were pulled the wrong way so I'm a little bit off camera here but what I'm doing is I'm taking the side of the book page and I'm cutting it then I'm putting the glue stick on it and I'm putting about half of it on one side and then folding over the page onto the other side and this is just going to um, create a, a little edging for the ends of our book pages. And I'm just gonna do that to the middle pages. I'm not doing it on the cover or the back side of the book. I just trimmed off the excess and now I want to bring a little bit of color to my mini book here and I will push this up but I'm gonna grab some of the pink I'm just putting a little bit on my finger and I'm dabbing it onto the cover I'm gonna do the same thing with the teal and then a very hint of the yellow ochre
Now, to make our book pop just a little bit more as well, I'm going to add some more Stabilo around the outside and just use a little water on the brush to kind of help um, smooth it or, or move it around and give it a little bit of that grungy look. Now, I'm super digging it. So give that a good dry and then we'll move on to the next step. So I needed a way to keep my book closed and then I had the brilliant idea. I just finished making lunches for the kids and used up the bread and I had a twist tie and I thought that would be perfect. So I'm grabbing a fun piece of washi here and I'm just rolling it over top of my twist tie to give it some uh, fun little patterning and not make it so boring. And now I'm going to fold it into kind of a um, I guess half loop you would call it and I'm making sure that it's flattened out and now I want to glue that onto the back of my book so I'm going to grab some double-sided sticky tape and I'm going to futz here and try and get those off but I'm going to glue my little piece here right in the middle and I'm gonna leave it long enough so that way it won't the book won't pop open on its own you'll have to physically move it and now I'm gonna take some more double-sided tape so that way it'll, it'll give it a very good adhesion when we glue our book onto our little head. Now if you want to decorate the inside of your book, do not glue it on yet. Go ahead, do all the decorations, and then glue your book on at, as the very last step. Now, uh, spoiler alert, mine is already decorated. I did it off camera because I wanted you to um, just do whatever you felt you wanted to do on the inside of your book. So what I'm going to show you here though is how I'm going to title it. So I found two words from the Tim Holtz uh, little sticker words and it's Imagine If. Imagine If is going to be the title and the main story of my little book. So I'm just sort of lining them up along with the um, twist tie there and I'm going to put some matte medium on the top of it so that way they will stay on really good, give it a good dry, and then I'm going to take some Titan Buff. I'm going to make it super watery on my hand, almost kind of like a uh, milky consistency, and just paint that around the title so that way it pops just ever so slightly. I'm going to do that twice to build up my color so I don't take away from the book page words underneath it. And now I'm going to grab a black Stabilo Woody and I'm going to grunge up the page. I'm going to go around the outside here and if you had like a Tim Holtz Distress Crayon or a Neo Color, any of those, Gelato, would work fabulously. And I'm just going to smudge it around with my finger and then also do the same with the book pages. And that is going to finish off today's page, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me. And if you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to read my story, just keep watching. Imagine if, imagine if you're only as old as you think you are. Imagine if you replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. Imagine if you are capable of becoming more than you realize. Imagine if you leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Imagine if you believe in yourself. Thank you guys for coming on this journey again with me today. I hope you love the little book and I can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to tag me over on Instagram. And until next time, happy creating.